Hey everyone, this is our doggy and I will be drawing him with a sepia Prismacolor sketching pencil and white charcoal on Strathmore Tone Tan paper. <sighs> God, he's such a turd. I start off this piece by applying white charcoal on the white fur area and after I apply it, I'm going to smudge it with a chamois. I begin coloring in his fur, but for some reason the video decided to stop on its own, so here's a picture of it. I outline his mouth and block in areas so with the sepia pencil, and I'm going to let the chamois do the rest of the work for the first layer. Prismacolor sharpening problems in 3, 2, 1. Looks like I gotta delay the video a bit because there's a huge chunk of the Prismacolor inside of my sharpener. So I'm gonna be busy trying to take a little big chunk out of there. Piece of crap. My stupid pencil broke twice. <laughs> Third time I was sharpening it carefully and it came out okay. I don't normally get this problem with pencils, but hey, it's Prismacolor. I'm just putting in a little detail with the pencil in places, using chamois here and there. To be honest, um, I tend to jump around a lot when I am working on a piece. Another truth to be told, <laughs> I was in La La Land while I was creating this piece and it actually took me almost three hours to do this. If I didn't go in La La Land, I could have gotten done just a little quicker. And another thing, um, most of the time I had no idea what the hell I was doing. This is actually the same dog from my last video on that charcoal portrait. And you know, um, he's actually not a sepia dog or anything or one of those red Boston Terriers. He's actually black and white, but I went on Facebook and posted in many groups and I asked which one should I do, another black and white portrait or a sepia on tan, and I had a lot of votes on sepia and tan, and I think it's turning out pretty good, but unfortunately I decided to spray it and the color is actually going to come out darker, which you're going to see at the end of the video. Just adding a touch of white charcoal in the highlighted areas of this little turd's face. So basically you're going to see me doing more penciling and more smudging, more highlights, layers, layers, layers. You know, to be honest with you, I am not really good with narrating or explaining things in general. But yeah, that's basically what I'm doing in the video and it even makes it more hard on me of the fact that I jump around a lot. So I'm watching this and narrating as I go and I'm like, wow, I'm doing a whole bunch of things. I didn't know I'd jump around this much though. <laughs> But anyway, so, <clears throat> yeah. Why is this part slowed down? I have no idea what I did while putting together the video clips, but hey, nothing wrong with a small part being slowed down, even though it's only just a few seconds of chamois smudging. I'm getting close to the finish and wrapping up this short project. I didn't record at the very end of the finishing. After I turned off the camera, I added a, a few more highlights and that is it for this little turd. I did mention I sprayed it so I will show you guys the difference. This is before spraying fixative. Now here it is after. I mean it doesn't look horrible, it still looks nice, it's just a little darker than I anticipated. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, feel free to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Aww, isn't he a precious little turtle or what?